Hey, 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 YouTube fam, how y'all doing? How y'all doing? I pray that each of you are having a blessed and safe day. All is well with you. Everything is going great with you. And even if it's not, you're on the side of my voice or you're watching this video, guess what? You are still a blessing. You are still a miracle. Okay, you are important and you are somebody. Okay, because you're still alive. You still here. Okay, and that right there is a blessing and miracle within itself. If this is your first time tuning into my YouTube channel, my name is Candice e. Brown. I'm a certified life coach. I'm a podcaster, a YouTuber. I am also a mother of two beautiful and wonderful children. And what I do, I do self-confidence coaching for women, helping them change their mindset from rags to riches. Yes, becoming the queens that they were born to be. So ladies, I need for y'all to fix them crowns today. Yes, right. They might be a little crooked, but straighten them back up. I need for all my other ladies, if you ain't never picked up your crying, seize what you waiting on, okay? You're a whole queen out here in these streets, girl. And pick it up and put it on your head. Wear it proudly. Wear it boldly. And walk fearless and bold that you will, and just walk like the queen that you were born to be. Okay, you were born to be fearless. You were born to be bold. Okay, I don't care what nobody said about you. It don't matter about your circumstances, your situations, whatever you got going on. It don't matter about your race. It don't matter about your profession. It don't matter. You still are a queen. Okay, so today is just for my ladies. It's going to be real quick. I just want to come on here and remind my queens, take care of you. Yes, taking care of you. I don't care what you do, good ladies. Get your hair did. Get your nails did. I know my hair looking like who did in that song. I got to go back to my sister. That's my hairdresser. <laughs> get my hair recurred. But I just want to make sure, make sure that y'all are taking care of your, taking care of you. Take care of yourself. Okay? If you don't take care of you, who going to take care of you, baby? Okay? Don't be waiting on Jim, James, Paul, and Tyrone to take care of you because they're not going to take care of you like you going to take care of you. Okay, take care of yourself. It could be anywhere from um you want to die. Make sure you're dying it, doing it for you, doing it for your health reason. Don't be out here talking about, oh, I got to get summertime fine because I want everybody to be on me. Baby, I'm tell you, sir, <laughs> you could be summertime fine, you could be Beyonce fine, you could be all these things. But if you ain't doing it for you, it ain't going to matter. Because if you go out here stop these men from looking at other women, it ain't going to happen. <laughs> okay? So take care of you. Okay? Take care of you in, in this season. I just want all my queens to take care of themselves. Okay? Make sure you're doing something for you. Make sure you're taking that time out for you, okay? Make sure you're buying yourself something because a lot of times we forget about us because we got kids, we got family, we got careers, we got this, we got that going on, and we forget about ourselves. And the more and more you forget about yourself, you deplete yourself, you start to become worthless, thinking you're not enough, thinking that nobody love you, don't nobody care about you, you know, do something for you. I was talking to my cousin. I love y'all. She's so beautiful. And she was saying that um, she was trying to plan something with her friends to go out to eat and stuff. But every time she turned around, it was like, they, oh, I couldn't come out to eat because I had this going on. Or I had that going on. So I told her, I said, take yourself out to eat. What's wrong with you spending a little time with you? You know, getting to know you, getting to know who you are, what you like on the menu, okay? Ain't no, ain't nothing wrong with spending time with yourself. I say that she say, well, I be by myself a lot of the times. I say, let me tell you something. It ain't nothing wrong with that. I said, child, it's the best way to be sometimes. <laughs> it's having that alone time with you, getting yourself together, okay? So I told her, I was like, there's nothing wrong with you going to get your nails done, just treating yourself, go out to eat, and just have an awesome time, okay? Ain't nothing wrong with that, okay? And she did it yesterday, and she said she felt so much better, y'all. She felt good, and it was like, she's like, oh, wow, this does feel good to just get out and do something with myself. And up and behold, guess what happens? Her friend calls her and says, hey, you want to go out to lunch tomorrow? Come on now. She said, you want to go out to eat tomorrow? She's like, yeah, okay, sure. And she's like, can you believe that happened? She got, they want to go out to eat tomorrow. And you, I said, yeah, get out and enjoy yourself because 
you the people gonna come that person gonna come in your life that you want to spend time with and ladies i know this is hard for us because it's it be hard for me sometimes i'm gonna raise my hand well i do want that special man in my life but we can go out eating and spend time together and laugh and talk together but guess what it guess what it ain't nothing wrong with doing that now do that now you don't need GQ smooth in your face right now. You need to spend time with you. If you single in this season, it ain't nothing wrong with being single, baby. Nothing wrong with that. I don't care what people tell y'all. We have so much emphasis on we got to be with somebody. We got to have a husband. We got. Let me tell you something. Everybody ain't going to be married. I'm going to go and put it out there. Everybody ain't going to be married. Everybody ain't meant to be married, okay? Y'all may sit here and look at me crazy, but everybody ain't meant to be married, okay? Not right, not right now. And some in your life, you're not going to be married. And you got to be okay with being by yourself. And that's a lot of our problems. We ain't okay with being by ourselves. We feel like we got to have somebody right there in our face. We got to have somebody in our ear. We got to have somebody to lay next to us. Let me tell you something. It ain't nothing wrong with laying in the bed by yourself at night, feeling comfortable in a queen-size bed by yourself and being able to roll around and just sleep like you want to. You ain't got to bump into somebody like, oh, now nah, look, I got to put my leg up your leg. I, listen, it ain't nothing wrong with that. And I ain't bashing nobody in a relationship. Congratulations to y'all. And and I pray that you have a successful relationship. But all my single people out there, stop putting so much of an emphasis that you got to be with somebody. Okay? So this your season to be by yourself so you get, get to know who you are. Because a lot of us have lost eye on who we was. We don't, we don't know who we are anymore. We don't been depleted we done been like a dried up prune in this season and we don't know who we are anymore we don't know what we like to do we don't know what we like to eat we don't know where we want to go we don't know how I, how we want our hair how we want our nails what we want to wear in this season because we was always catering to somebody else come on somebody we was always catering to somebody else instead of catering to ourselves Okay, you better cater to yourself in this season, single or not single, even for the married people. You better know how to cater to you. Even when you marry and in a relationship, you still need that time by yourself. You being up on somebody 24-7 is not healthy, y'all. Oh, Candace, how you, I'm fine with somebody being 24-7. Well, that might be you, but I know for me, I need my alone time. I need my me time. Everybody needs some me time. You can't stay in nobody's face 24-7. You ain't going to have nothing to talk about. If I'm in your face 24-7, we done talked about everything, then what else we got to talk about? We ain't got nothing to discuss. I'm always in your face. You always in my face. We never part. Self for maybe at work. We talk about work, but what else do we have to talk about? Because we right there. We don't have no alone time. We ain't got nothing else to talk about. And when you ain't got nothing else to talk about, you ain't got nothing else to do, that's when the relationship become boring. Okay, you got to find things, common interests, and things to do, not only together, but apart. Okay, you got to know how to be by yourself. Okay, it's okay to be by yourself. It ain't nothing wrong with being by yourself. Okay, if somebody tell you I can't be by myself, no, it, yes, you can. It's all in your mindset. The only reason you can't be by yourself because you done told yourself and you done said it over and over and over and over again. And you done heard people say, girl, I can't be by myself, man. I can't be by myself. And now you believe it because you believe that you can't be by yourself. But over half of us ain't had no twin because I know I ain't had no twin. I was born by myself and I'm probably going to die by myself. Okay. Okay, so why not? Why can't I be by myself in this season? Why do I got to have somebody? Baby, I ain't got to have nobody. <laughs> All I got to have is the law. Okay, me and God, me, God, and my kids. Hey, that's it. I don't have to have a man right now. I wait on God because I know how to be by myself. Ain't nothing wrong with being by yourself. Ain't nothing wrong with taking your, take yourself out to eat, treat yourself. You ain't got to wait on nobody to do nothing for you. Do it for yourself. You, I need my co work on. That's what they created mechanics for, ladies. Okay, and if you want to know how to do so, you better get on YouTube like I used to do. Child, please, I get under the hood of my car in a minute. Okay, something going on. Let me go on YouTube and scroll. Cause I know somebody. Oh, bam, there go a video. I have changed the lights in my car. I done changed my headlights, my bot lights. Okay, I, have, I done did that. YouTube videos. Educate yourself. Educate yourself on some things. Read books. Okay, when, when you get in purpose... Let me tell you something, when you full-fledged your purpose, you ain't going to really have time to read talk to nobody. 
You were like, yeah, okay. I'm like, I ain't got five more minutes, man. I got to go. I, I got a video to shoot. I, I got to do this. I got to do that. When you full-fledged and purpose, you're not really going to have time. Okay? So, and, and I ain't bashing relationships. It's good to be in a relationship. It's a wonderful feeling to have somebody to love you. But what's wrong with loving yourself first? How can you love somebody when you don't love yourself? You can't give what you ain't got. If you ain't got no self-love and no self-confidence, how you gonna how you gonna love somebody else? Okay? And that's a that's a lot of our problem. That was my problem. I wanna sit out here and love this and that one. I wasn't even loving myself. I didn't have that for myself, so how I'm gonna give it to somebody else? Okay. But I just came and encouraged my single people. This could be for men and women. Treat yourself, y'all. It ain't nothing wrong with being single in this season and finding out who you are. Finding out your purpose, why you were created, what you supposed to be doing. Ain't nothing wrong with that. People tell you, people be looking at you crazy all the time. You ain't got nobody yet. Don't worry about if I ain't got nobody yet. Why Why you want me to have somebody? Don't worry about why I ain't got nobody. Worry about the person you with or, or you by yourself. Worry about you stay in your lane. Let Candace drive her car. You drive your car. Let me hold this in the road. Okay? Because one thing you can't do, you can't hold my business and your business in the road because you're going to wreck after a while, okay? It's like you trying to drive two cars at one time. You got your car, but you over here trying to drive Jenny's car, and you like this right here. And, and, and before you know it, boom, you're going to wreck. You're going to wreck your whole life because you're so busy worried about somebody else and what they got going on. Worry about you. Don't worry about nobody else. Stay in your lane. Worry about what you got going on. Don't worry about what they yeah, what they got going on? Yeah, she ain't got nobody yet. <laughs> I don't know that he ain't got nobody yet. Don't worry about them folk ain't got nobody. Is you got somebody? Okay? You may not even have nobody. Okay, worry about you. They said the same thing you say about them. They say the same thing about you. Well, why you ain't got nobody? What's going on with you? Worry about you in this season. Okay, get yourself together. Give yourself that self-love and that self-confidence for you trying to go out here and get to somebody else. Okay? Give yourself... You know, everything that you ever wanted, you you got it. You ain't got to wait on nobody. Quit, quit. I'm waiting on Prince Charming. <laughs> he going he gonna, to he gonna do this. He going to give me a high. So, baby, get out here and get your own highs. Get, make your own table, queen. You a whole queen out here in these streets. Make your own table. Have your own house, car, job, career, bank account, business, whatever you want. I already have all that squared away. So when he come... You already got a table. You already been eating. Okay, you already been treating yourself. You already been buying yourself Gucci bags and Gucci boots. You been already doing this. So if he come bring you a Gucci bag, it ain't gonna, you gonna be like, well, okay, thank you. I appreciate it. Like, uh, for real though, uh, you like me and I have to work on them like, yeah, you didn't have to do it. I mean, I can afford to do this, but thank you. I don't say it to their face. My mind like, I really, you know, I really can afford to do this, but bro, I, I appreciate it. Okay, and we I have to work on that, y'all. I have to try to be appreciative, but I just want to let somebody know you're not finna buy me with no bag. You're not finna buy me. You can't buy me with no money. You can't buy me with this and buy me that. These are things that I can do on my own right now. This stuff I'm already doing. Okay, so you I ain't gonna be like, oh, it's a star. He bought me a Gucci bag. Yeah, he bought me this. He bought me that. And I'm head over here for you because you bought me a Gucci bag. I can buy my own Gucci bag. Okay, okay. But anyway, though, y'all get what I'm saying. Y'all get what I'm saying, though. Don't be so just overwhelmed because somebody do this and do that and take you out to eat. Already be doing it for yourself because if you already do it, you ain't nothing new to it. You're going to appreciate it. You're going to be nice about it, but it, you ain't going to be like, oh, he, yeah, he, you like, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. You're going you gonna to be nice about it. And he, and you got something like, so, I mean, I, 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 I bought you a Gucci bag. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I took you out to eat, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I did this, I did that, you know what I'm saying? You're like, yeah, I know, I appreciate it, thank you so much. So, I mean, what's up, what's up? We gonna get together or what? You're like, oh, uh, get together on what? You mean go out to dinner? Oh, okay, well, we can go out to dinner, and I will meet you there at 7 o'clock. You drive your car, I drive my car. We sit down and eat, and when we get through eating, I'm going right, and you go left. You go. That's the way you go home, or however you go home, and we'll make another dinner day. I mean, dang, I, I, I mean, I, I, I'm putting out, I'm putting out. 
Okay, I'm putting out two and giving you my time. I mean, I, I'm making time. I'm, I'm marking you on the schedule. Meeting with Blue at 7 o'clock. Okay, now that's all. Okay, I mean, I, 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 I mean, I can't come over. No, nah, bro, you can't come over. Mm -mm. I mean, I mean, you know, I can, I can, I can spend the night. I can do this. At, no, I don't know you that well, bro. I don't know you that well yet. We, we, we got to work up to that. Okay, just say that I ain't ready for that, y'all. That's that's the most thing I'm learning. I ain't ready for that. Okay, when you get ready for that, you, and also you have to make boundaries. Me and that women make boundaries. I'm learning something that you got to make boundaries in this season. You got to make some boundaries. Okay, this how we gonna do. Cause y'all know we love to say Netflix and chill, and you know what Netflix and chill mean, okay? Y'all ain't y'all already know. So if you know, like, now nah, we can't Netflix and chill. We can go to the movies, we can go out to eat or something like that, but we can't Netflix and chill. I ain't ready for all of that yet. I ain't ready. I'm not ready. When I'm ready for that, I'll let you know when we can Netflix and chill. I will let you know when I'm ready for that. But right now, I'm not ready for that. I'm just getting to know you. We just getting to know each other. We just met each other for the first time, and we've been only knowing each other for maybe a couple of weeks or so. I ain't ready for Netflix and chill. Let's just keep, let's just dating. Let's just keep going on dates. Let's keep meeting up. Okay, cool. They ain't nothing, but they get the fuss and the time. And I done been with you two weeks, and you ain't put out yet. Is it? You know what? I ain't going to put out. I don't know you. Okay, I don't know you from a can of paint, and I'm supposed to lay down with you. I don't know you. Okay, I do not know you. I don't know where you been, where you from. I'm still getting to know you. You want me to just open up the... No, no, no. I can't open up like that. I ain't getting on my bike. No, no, no. I can't do that. I'm not ready for all of that yet. You don't have to tell people that you... Something I learned. You don't have to tell people that you are... Um, you celibate or you abstinent. You don't even have to say that. You just say, I ain't ready for all of that yet. I mean, dang, we just met. Come on, bro. Come on. Sis, even with women, because women, so I tried to get you some. You ain't want it? No, ma'am. I, I am not going to disrespect you like that. I'm not ready for all of that yet. I mean, I'm just trying to get to know you for real, for real, Miss Lady. I'm just trying to get to know you. I'm not ready for all of that yet. When I'm ready for that, I let you know. But right now, in the beginning stages, I'm not ready for that. I ain't I ain't ready to go there for yet. Let's just let's just take things slow and get to know each other. And some people will get mad with you, but if they get mad with you, you just know that that wasn't a man and a woman for you. Okay, don't sit there and try to compromise your um your standards. Don't compromise your standards. Your standards is okay. I'm not gonna sleep with nobody because at, at in the first three to three. For six months, whatever you because I ain't judging none of y'all. I ain't judging nobody. Whatever your standard may be, well, I'm not going to sleep with nobody because I got to get to know them first. I'm not finna just do that in the first month or two. I'm not finna do that. However your preference, whatever your standard is, not preference, preferences, preferences can be twerked and tweaked a little bit. But standards, you got to keep them standards. I'm not finna lay down with nobody I don't know. I'm not finna do that. Don't compromise your standards. If your standards is I'm not finna do that, then don't do it. Well, I'm not. Well, I'm finna go. Okay, bye. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. I holler and go on about your business. They wasn't a man and woman for you anyway. Okay? But I just want to come on here and remind y'all, make sure you're giving yourself that self-love, that self-confidence that you deserve. It ain't nothing wrong with dating yourself. Get out here and date yourself. Enjoy your life. And be blessed. I will holler at you guys next time. This has been Candice E. Brown, your certified life coach, your motivational speaker. See you guys soon.